What it do do Welcome to Hood Soul Wisdom First and foremost, I appreciate you tapping in. I hope this episode finds you in the very best of every single aspect possible, including but not limited to mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Those are and forever will be my highest hopes and prayers for you and yours. I'm your host, Ruby. Glad you came through to Align and Thrive. This episode is brought to you by Forever Wise Coaching. Align and Thrive with your health and wellness in mind. And Forever Wise Apparel, conscious wear with the essence of a G. Episode 43, Freedom. When you think about the word freedom, what comes to mind? For me, it's being able to do whatever the fuck I want. Just being free with nothing holding me back. No limitation. Just being myself, genuinely, unapologetically, shining my light. And all of that sounds beautiful. However, there's a different type of freedom that comes before that. And that's mental freedom. Free yourself. Free your mind. Mental freedom is the best type of freedom out there. What is mental freedom? Man, it's having a clear mind, having a pure mind, having a solid spirit. That's freedom. Because when your mind is pure, it means it's clear. It means it's clean. Cleanse your mind. That's true freedom. Most of us think we live our life in the outside world, but that's not what it is. This journey we're on, this life we're on, it's an inner journey. And sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, as a mom, as a parent, that shit scares me. Because I'm trying every day to feed my child's soul, to feed my child's mind with positivity, with beauty, so that he can be free. And when I say so that he can be free, I mean free of worry, free of stress, free of anxiety, free of fear. And sometimes, at the same time, I'm human and I blow the fuck up. I blow shit out of proportion. I act like a bitch and he doesn't get the best version of me. And it's scary because as I am letting go and undoing or unbecoming all these limitations that I picked up along the way through my life. I don't want to pass those on to him. I don't want to pass those on to anyone around me. The way I'm trying to claim my freedom now is something I don't want him to go through. I don't want him to have to claim his freedom or reclaim his freedom. I want him to grow up free. I want him to know how to focus on what makes him feel good. I want him to know how to redirect his thoughts. I want him to have a pure mind. I want to equip him with a pure mind, good health, with a solid spirit, and freedom. You can claim freedom wherever the fuck you're at. Freedom is not limited to your surroundings. Freedom is limitless because like I said, We live in our mind. We interpret everything around us through our ideas, through our belief systems, through our perceptions. You don't live in the outside world. You live in your head through all those conversations you're having with yourself throughout the day, all those thoughts you're entertaining. Freedom comes from knowing how to detach yourself from those thoughts that fuck you over. Freedom comes from knowing you have the power to choose what the fuck you want to focus on. Freedom comes from knowing you're an energetic being and your energy is your thoughts and emotions and knowing that at any point in time, you can control that. You don't got to go through these downward spirals and fuck yourself over. Someone once told me, we're not humans on a spiritual journey. We're spirits on a human journey. And it's so true. Think about your essence. What are you? A lot of us think we're this body we're in. That's far from true, at least in my perception. I believe we're the spirit that animates this body because you could lose limb by limb, but your spirit still remains. If you cut your finger, well, damn, you weren't that finger. If you lose your leg, well, damn, you weren't that leg. 
If you lose your hand, well, fuck, you weren't that hand either. And the body can continue to diminish. But you, your essence, is still intact. You're here on this human journey. But in reality, like I said, you're that spirit that animates this body. As I perceive things in that manner, that's where freedom comes in. I like doing free spirit shit. I like being myself. I like being genuine. I like being who the fuck I am. And I've never been more loyal to myself and more free than I am now, where I just get to express myself and be me without having those shackles in my mind that are worried about what everybody else is going to think, what everybody else is going to say, fearful of criticism, anxious or worried about anything. I have reprogrammed my mind to always look at best case scenario to always calm myself and feel safe. And if that ain't freedom, I don't know what the fuck is. Now that's mental freedom. And along with this mental freedom, the freer I am becoming in my mind, the more freedom I am experiencing outside of me in the physical world. The physical world is only a reflection of what goes on inside your mind. If you wanna experience any type of freedom outside of you, it starts within. Set yourself free. Set yourself free of any limitations you carry within. Why? Because you deserve it. Before I wrap it up, right? Make sure y'all tap in. Follow me on IG at Hood Soul Wisdom, at Forever Wise Coaching, and at Forever Wise Apparel for updates, giveaways, and merch drops. And if you haven't yet, do yourself a favor and click the link on the bio at Hood Soul Wisdom to download eight affirmations to help you tap in and align with your essence. And subscribe to the email list so you're always up on game with what I got coming next. I appreciate you coming through and as always, may the higher powers guide you, protect you, and fully equip you with a pure mind, good health, and a solid spirit. With much love, respect, and sincerity, I'm out. <laughs>